Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of multiplication, specifically how we can use compensation to multiply mentally, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So first we're going to start with just your basic 2 digit by 1 digit multiplication. You see it lined up vertically over on the left, and we'll use the standard algorithm. So we start with the ones place times the ones place. So 8 times 5 is going to be 40. We're not going to write the 40 though because we only have room for one digit. We're going to write the 0 because that's in the ones place of 40. And we're going to take that 4 in the tens place put it over the 1 which is actually a 10 in the 18. Now we're going to multiply the ones digit 5 times this 1 which that 1 is really a 10 so 5 times 10 would be 50. But then we need to add that 4 back in. That 4 remember, represented the 4 tens, so 50 and 4 tens is going to make 9 tens, so our answer is going to be 90. Now we're using that just so we know what the actual answer is. How can we do that without writing it out with pencil and paper? Well, compensation shows that you could change a number, one of the factors, so that it's a little bit easier to multiply with, and you get the correct answer if you make sure to change the product back. So 5 is pretty easy to multiply with. Let's take a look at this 18. This 18 is pretty close to 20. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change in my brain that 18 to 20. And so now I'm going to do 5 times this 20. And I can do that mentally. 5 sets of 20 is going to be 100. If I don't know that, I could say 5 times 2 is 10. And then add that 0 because it's a multiple of 10. And then that's going to be an extra 0. That's going to be 100. Now the answer is not 100. The answer is 90. How do we get back up into that? Well, what I did was I changed my 18 up to 20. So in my brain, I've got to keep in mind that I actually added two extra sets of fives in there. So two extra sets of fives, well, that's 10. So if I take that 10 back away, now I get down to my answer of 90. Let's look at it with a different example. Now let's look at 24 times 6. Once again, we'll use the standard algorithm to multiply to find the true product first. So 6 times 4 is going to be 24. We can put the 4 in the ones place. That 2, which is a 20, is going to go up there above the other 2, which is also a 20. Now the 6 times 2, that's 12. And we're going to add this 2 back in. So 12 plus 2 is going to be 14. Remember, this is really 6 times 20 plus another 20, so it's going to be 140. We're going to put it right here. We get to put both of those numbers down rather than carrying anything or regrouping anything because there's no more numbers off here to the side. So our answer is going to be 144. So how can we do that mentally with compensation? Well, there's a few different ways. If you wanted to, you could round this 24 down to 20, and then you can multiply, and then you have to add that back in. But that's actually quite a bit of work. Compensation doesn't always have to be the same as rounding. You're just looking for easy numbers to multiply with. And I'm actually going to change this to 25. And you might say, why would you change to 25? Well, I like 25, 50, 75 if I can get to them because that's what quarters produce when we are adding coins. And so anytime I can get a 25 or 50 or 75 cents, it makes me think of quarters. And I can add quarters mentally pretty quickly. So six quarters. Well, I know four of those quarters is going to be a dollar. So that's a hundred. And then it leaves me two quarters left and two quarters makes 50. So that's going to give me 150. So six quarters is 150 cents or $1 and 50 cents. But now we need to think about what do we do? How did we change this? So we actually added one. So we have one extra group of six in this 150. So we have to take that extra group of six away and that's how we get to our 144. Now it's your time to try. We have 43 times 3. I want you to take a moment see if you can multiply it mentally by using compensation. Pause the video, get your answer, and then when you have it you can unpause it to check your work. All right when I'm multiplying these I'm going to go ahead and change this 43. I'm going to change it down to a 40. If I can't get it to a 25, 50, or 75, I'm going to make it a multiple of 10. So 40 times 3, well, 4 times 3 is going to make 12. So since it's multiple of 10, I'm just going to add that 0 at the end, 120. And when we multiplied, we actually took 3 away, 3 sets of 3. So we're going to have to add that back in. So 3 sets of 3 is 9. So if we want to add that back in, the answer is now going to be 129. 